Hey everybody, it's me. It's a space chase. God, I love the saxophone in that song, and I'm so sorry for the VOD watchers that don't get to hear that. But we're going back to the space chase's natural habitat. That being space! Yay! Back to the outer wilds. So we gotta wake up. Let's see, where were we last time? I think last time we were... We, we found uh, the one lost explorer. And he was inside the Bramble dimension. And he told us that we could get to the core of Giant's Deep, which was where we're trying to go, uh, through... Uh, the vine behind him. So I think that's what we're going to try and do. Because we've been trying to get to that core for a while. Um, because the module that is tracking the probe that just launched there, which is searching for the eye of the universe, is apparently at the core. Uh, let's see, that's not where we want to go. We want to get there but through a roundabout way of going through Ramble. Ramble land. Are we fall? Oh! Okay, we did not actually uh, escape our planet's uh, gravity. And while I was doing that, we fell back down. Hi. Don't have our suit on. I uh, oh hey, the, one of these things. What is this? The anglerfish specimen of our ship exploded. The anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Yeah, one of those got really, one of those ate us. Um. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do when my ship explodes. So we're going to be postponing. Um, our trip to Dark Bramble. And... I wonder if there's anything else we can do on this planet. That's a map. We... Our glass twins, we've been through there. Couldn't really figure out what was going on there. Brittle Hollow. Haven't, uh... We landed on the Interloper? I think we did for a little bit. I think there's a shuttle there. I don't know what this is. Um... Interesting. So we're off to a great start. Um, we fell back to our planet, crashed, our ship exploded. Uh, what, 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 what are we going to do next here? Oh, hey, these two are talking about the statue, I bet. Yep. Oh, we can tell them I found Feldspar. Found Feldspar? And they're in dark bramble. Stars above, this is wonderful news. Thank you. Thank you for finding them. That Feldspar didn't immediately join you on your ship and return here is incredibly Feldspar of them. We are never entirely sure what Feldspar was thinking back then, either. Still, we ought to fish them out of the dreadful place with all haste. I'll radio Gossen to have them prepare a ship. It really should be Gossen who brings Feldspar home. Again, thank you. You can hardly imagine how profoundly happy I am to hear they're alive and unharmed. Was there something else? Uh, no thanks, I'm good. Take care. Hey, I was just about to come find you. Uh, yeah, statue's eyes open. We we talked about this already? Uh-huh. Okay. So, my ship has exploded. I don't think they're going to give me a new one. Um. 
but look at our pretty planet. It's beautiful. So nice. Oh, God. Oh, God. I wasn't watching where I was going. Our pretty pa planet with railings that are definitely not OSHA regulation. Ah, oh, God. Ow. Ow. Is this, this is part of my ship. What you looking at? What are you doing back? Did you forget your spacesuit or something? Let's look it up what's going on there. Hmm. All right. Launch tower. Well then. Wee. Toes off. And we're just gonna sleep till the apocalypse. How long do we wait before the sun explodes and we can start over? This is pretty much what I would do during an apocalypse. I'd just sleep. I'd just be like, like ah, what's the point? It's all going to blow up. This is. I really should do something. I want to do some stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to sleep. I'll just take care of it before the apocalypse starts. It's it's fine. So much of a hassle to get in all of your last pre-apocalypse business. You know. Ah! We're awake. And uh, I think the apocalypse is about to happen. Hey, buddy, what's up? Sun is going to go supernova, by the way. Oh yeah, the observatory has an exhibit about that. Between you and me, I glossed over some of the finer details. Astrophysics really more Hornfell's domain. Me? I'm here for the rocket science and the marshmallows. You're lucky I'm in a time loop. Otherwise, I'd be super dead. And you're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons because I have no idea what you're talking about. I keep being killed by ghost matter. Not if you use your scout to detect it, you won't, you dumb idiot. Did you think I made that just so you could take pretty little pictures of trees? It has multiple uses. You do know you can see, use it as a light source, right? Stars above, please tell me you knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't have it with me because I'm not, I don't have my suit. Oh. Okay. No, oh, here it comes. You don't hear that? He doesn't hear that. Oh. Nobody's noticing the sound of a sun explode. Wait, how does the sun exploding make a sound? Like, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the, the, the exploding plasma would travel faster than sound, right? I don't know, I, I'm not a sunologist. Our short, short life of mostly sleeping. And there's the part where we blew up our ship. And wake up.
There goes the probe. I swear that does go off at different directions each time. I know it does. Which has some um, unnerving implications about the supposed time loop thing. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm thinking too hard about it. Okay, let's get up here. Into space. Actual space. Where we're not falling down. Not here. Here. There's Feldsboro's camp. Hollow Vine. Actually, no. Neither of those. We want the map. Uh, map, 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 map. Map. No. Map. Um. Where are you, Dark Ramble? Yes. A stick. Engage autopilot. Uh, hold on a second. I want to check and see. Button prompt. Oh, there we go. Yes, five. Fantastic. Should have done that earlier. Now I'll be less confused about where the X button is. Uh, hi there, son. Uh, flying a little close to the sun there, autopilot, eh? So far, the autopilot hasn't, like, flown me directly into a heavenly body, so I think it's safe. All right, here we are. Okay, oh, we want to get our thing and follow the sounds of Feldspar's harmonica. This way. Oh god, I hear a fish. No, fish, no, no, no fish, no fish, no fish. Through the portal, through the portal, no! Oh god, we're dead. We're dead. Hi. 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 Probe? I can't, we're trapped. I can see the inside of the fish. Hi, okay, uh, hi. Take me now, sweet death. Okay. Not sure how we avoided the fish the first time. I think maybe we just got lucky. Wait, what the? What the hell? The probe's coming right at us! What the? Yeah, that was different. It's different each time. That that can't be good. That's That means we're not in a time loop, right? <laughs> As a... Uh... Do you think it landed? It could have... I don't think it landed on our planet, did it? Huh. Alright. Autopilot to Dark Bramble. That was weird. There, it's implied that the, I for, keep forgetting the, their names, but the precursor aliens that were here long before us, that they discovered potentially time travel? And 
and they also created the things that are recording our memories and remembering us for us. But is it actually... Well, there's some quantum stuff in here too, like... You know, multiple realities and all that. Some worrying implications that, like, it's not a complete perfect time loop like is this different each time Okay. That's a portal we can get through. Oh, Jesus, part scares the crap out of me every time. You look like a signal. Okay, this is it. This is where Feldspar lives. So, directly behind him. Why is there duplicate scout signal? Huh. Directly behind him. There's his ship. And inside of this, uh oh, slow up, slow down, slow down. He said leads to all right, we'll have to go on foot from here. Get our suit. leads to the center of oh yeah this may leads to the center of giant's deep okay oh we're in that are we in the one that was in the ice on that island duplicate ship signal Oh, this is interesting. Oh, here's something. Trip four? Entry. I'm gonna say not one. Uh, crashes, three. Boring crashes, zero. A personal best. Whoa-ho! Never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here, too. Lark, this thing tastes terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity? Right, I'm going inside of this jellyfish's interior cavity to see if what's in there tastes any better. I... What? Feldspar was here. Went into the jellyfish. Just 
down here. Wait. That's Dark Bramble again. Oh, this is not good. I I want to I want out. I want to get out. I want to go back. Oh, well, actually no. This shows the ship like very close by, maybe. Oh jeez. Going through here again. Point two kilometers this way. Good. Hear that there's a duplicate signal here. That's from the Hello? There's there's Feldspar's trees. Oh, there we go. Okay, we can refuel our rocket. Hi. Whoa! Where'd you come from? No one's come in here and well, ever actually. That makes you the second Harthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Say, it's you. They made you an astronaut? And you haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you. Let me guess. Angularfish? Yeah, you got it. One. Kind of hard not to, once you seed one of those fish up close and personal-like. I'll take a lot off and fill your oxygen tank, Hatchling. There's plenty of fire to go around. Nah, I'm good. All right, back to the ship. All right. Okay, right, we got some things to fix here. Uh, electrical, wait, what? Oh yeah, that's his ship. This is ours. Ah! Ooh, well, we just got zapped. All right, fine. Don't let me fix it, you could just said so. Okay, so, we came through here. Okay. All right, got a little bit of gravity here. All right. All right. We're on like an outer edge. There's this frozen thing. Got his record talking about the jellyfish and how it's probably insulated from Electricity. Um. Oh, what is this? Read. Note to Feldspar. Do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Feldspar. He's leaving us those notes. So the fish... The jellyfish are insulated from electricity. Okay, and I can get inside of them. Is that what I needed to know? I need to get inside the jellyfish? To somehow get inside one of the jellyfish. The jellyfish are like always electrical. I don't think I can bring this jellyfish with me. Oh. Really 
fish are also electrical. Okay. Ow. All right, let's go back the way we came this time instead of falling back through the planet and having to go buy the spooky fish. The flashlight should probably be on. Snapshot. Silly. Okay. Well, we're hurt. Low on fuel and oxygen. Our ship's electrical's busted. But we have an idea of what we need to do next. Kind of. Maybe. Possibly. Perhaps. Oh, boy. Oh. Yep. Down. Down, down, down. Down, down. Um. Um. What is this? Hello? Please tell me our ship did it. Our ship exploded again! Why is our ship exploding? What's in here? This Feldspar ship. Kinda fancy. Uh, yeah, there's pieces of our ship. Oh, yeah, that's our little gravity generator. Not doing much for us here. Oh. Yep, there it is. Okay. We gotta wait it out here again. Oh, wow. Blur unidentified signal. Oh no, that's that's Feldspar. Okay. We've identified the signal. Um Found the frozen jellyfish. Ha! The little thing is still there, is it? That's where I first camped out after the crash, you know? It was pretty cozy inside. It does lack the structural integrity and indomitable spirit of a camp made in the shelter of the very bones of a species that tried to eat you, I suppose. Still, very cozy. Ow. Let's roast a marshmallow. Okay. Um. Tasty. Yep. A little burned. Still good. Yep. Still good. And we'll try not to burn this one. Away from the fire. Okay, good. Both sides here, keep it even. Yeah, getting brown, getting brown. Oh, that's a good one. Guess we just doze off. to exploding. Where should I explore here? That's the spirit. Anywhere is good, but you should know the space is weird here. Intensely, 
Ever tried throwing your scout into one of those weird seeds? See there with a little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Your scout tracker will tell you that the scout is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly? Because space doesn't work right here. That seed looks small, see? But inside it's bigger. Much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this, and my theory is space and dark bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside those seeds. Well, that's my theory. Keep in mind that while you're exploring Dark Bramble and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck. What's in there? Oh, it just comes right back. Hi. What are you? What was that? All right, it's exploding. Hmm? Boom. Hmm. There goes the universe, or really just our solar system. We explode. And we see our memories. Yeah, that's another direction. I don't like the implications of that. I don't like... That's worrying. Stop worrying me, game. We're, we're, we're always perfectly safe, and we, we don't... We're just, we're just safe, and we just come back in the time loop every time. That's, that's definitely what's happening. Definitely nothing else. Here we go. Alright, so now we have to find our way inside of a jellyfish. Ooh, probe launcher. Busted probe launcher. So we gotta find the counterclockwise cyclone. There it is. Whee! Down we go. And we have to get inside of a jellyfish? I guess? Alright. We will have to get out of the ship for this, I think. That one's going down. Need to hurry. This part, maybe? Yeah, we're safe here. Okay. Uh oh. I think we're inside? Whoa. Is it safe to leave the jellyfish? I think it is. Hey. There it is, there's the module. We made it! We finally made it! 
All right, what do we got? Let's go inside. Oh, oh. Uh. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oof. Okay. Good. We got oxygen. Um, what's this? Twin projection stone. Ash twin. Huh? Oh, this is telling... Yeah, that's the Ash Twin Project. That's, um... One of these is us. One of these is Gabbro. Don't know who the third is. <gasps> oh! Oh, 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 oh. The probe launching in different directions every time because whoever has that one is reincarnating like we are. So we're not getting our our consciousness just transferred to another us in a parallel universe while the other stays dead forever. We are time looping. But there's someone else that's... That's how they solved... Is that how they solved not knowing which direction to send the probe in? They just has someone that's there reincarnating forever over and over again launching in every possible direction until they find it? That's insane. There's no way. That's insane. Untranslated know my writing. Uh, Ash Twin Project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Rami and I are some finishing touches here, and we should be finished soon. Are you in the orbital probe cannon well? We are. The statue here in the probe's tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight. If there's a statue, trajectory, and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. Once the probe determines the location of the eye of the universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Rami. On the other appendage, I am not worried about the cannon's structural integrity as its crew's moral integrity. Uh, oof. Okay. What's this? Oh, that's a flippadoopa. Flippadoodle? Flip it about. Launch module projection stone. I see the launch module. There's the statue. Its eyes are open. Wait. Maybe it's automated. Maybe it's just hooked up to this thing directly. Which means it should contain, it should know where the eye of the universe is. I don't know how this works. Are we synced up in loops because we're synced? I don't know. The launch module, it's broken. We were here. Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the Eye of the Universe. You'll be the first to see them. I'm honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Brett, not my nervous friend. We will only need to fire the probe once. Anyway, whose mind... Who minds if it, it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Or, which it was. But you gotta back up in the ocean. Hi, guy. How's it going? Um, you. Lippity floppity. What's this one do? Okay. There's us and the probe tracking mod and the probe launcher. Same. Zooming out. Something else. 
Oh, these are all the directions it's fired. Wait, wait. There it is. It found it. Deep Space Anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the Uter was found by probe 9,318. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. 9,318,054. Honestly, considering all the directions you could fire it in, probably pretty fast. <laughs> um, total number of probes launched. 9,318,78. Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Oh. Yeah, that worked. Let's see, let's read this one. Those are bubbles outside of it. Ah. Receiving data from probe 931078. Visualizing current trajectory of probe. Okay, that's the direction. Okay. And the last one. What is this? Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. Okay. I don't know if that's needed. Um, all right, so we know the coordinates to the eye of the universe. Um, there was something tracking the eye somewhere. Um, ow. Ah! Okay, getting out of here is hard. Stop it. This is tricky. Ah. Ah. Okay. Is this way? Uh -huh. We need to catch jellyfish right out of here. Ah! I think we're through it. Ship float to the surface? Looks like we we're kind of, yeah, it's just sitting up there. It is in one piece. Our ship didn't explode. So that's good. I need to remember. 
Where that? Aha. We're on board. Never had any damage. Let's get off this planet. Where was... Was that on our moon? <gasps> That's the phantom moon. Keep an eye on it. Okay. As long as we keep that picture up, it shouldn't move. Right? Okay. Oh, no. It it didn't. We're still there. Should be able to autopilot to it, right? Okay. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? We have the picture up, right? That shouldn't... I thought that's how that worked. Ah! There's the moon. I guess we just fly straight into it. Oh, oof. All right, well, we're here. Oh, okay, we just landed on somebody. Wait, wait, wait. On the moon. That is one of the aliens. I forgot what they're called. Did we actually land on this guy? I hope not. No. Oh, no. Oh, our ship's still here. Yoink! Nope. Ow. No, hold X. That was weird. We're all right. Um... There's our planet's moon. The Atler Rock. What was the Atler Rock where we found that? It was like very early on, the first time we played. Also, I'm hearing music like the sun's about to explode, I think. Yeah, that's it right there at the top.
Okay. Wait, I. Where would I go to input the coordinates? Glacier in Brittle Hollow has an ample space. I can instruct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, but let's build there. Imagine your young friend Conway would be. You can construct from Brittle Hollow South Pole. South Pole, was that the observatory? Do we need to go back there? looks very red. Let's locate the sun. That's Brittle Hollow. that that's kind of hard to find that's ash twin real hollow there's the phantom moon again all right where we got the let's, let's hit the moon let's hit the moon again you can land on another <laughs> try not to land on another person what the clouds do not count as seeing the moon so we tried to go through, we lost sight of it. The, the, the time that we made it through, we were just going fast enough, I guess. We've been on here, right? There's like a... This. This looks like something, right? Just stars in the distance. Riddle Hollow, where are you? It's gonna go right into the sun. Riddle Hollow, here we are. All right. Here we go. The observatory on the southern pole. Oh, Riddle Hollow is almost just about all gone.
goes collapse. Bounces off the interior into a supernova. we go. Alright, to the Southern Observatory in Brittle Hollow. I think I remember how to get there from the uh, shuttle launch pad, so it shouldn't be too hard. We do have to hurry because that planet falls apart fast. Want a moon? No time. Brittle hollow, brittle hollow, brittle hollow. Where are you? Here. You are. Hit that button. Let's go. Not hollow slander, brittle hollow. Um, autopilot. Our autopilot betrayed us. Um, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Autopilot. Oh, hello. What the? Huh? What just happened? Why ship no go up? Huh? Hold on. Yeah, that's up. Okay, that's weird. Autopilot. There's our moon. That planet has a huge hole in it. Hollow's lantern. Where's the hollow? Uh, our steering is borked. We're in landing mode. Suit. Lights. Okay. And we need to head south. Southern Observatory. South. Okay, 
take this out. Stop exploding, planet, please. Heading south. Ow. We're good. All right, all right. No, 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 oh, no, 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 uh, I hate Brittle Hollow. Take me now. Ah, man. Okay, you know what? Just, we're just... Uh, Why wait for the sun to kill us? We can just go right into the sun. There we go. Hi. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the sun. It's a lot of footage of us flying into the sun. <gasps> Pardon me. Hydrating. Here we go. Up to our spaceship. Our beautiful spaceship. Our ship from space. There we go. Right, let's read our log and see what it's frozen jellyfish, tracking module, quantum moon. Okay. The orbital probe cannon has launched a million probes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Millions of probes. Uh, I found no my coordinates marking the location of the eye of the universe. Um, Sun Observatory. Quantum Moon. I was able to land on the surface. I found a dead no my in a spacesuit near the South Pole. Autopilot. Let's get back to that Southern Observatory. Hi.
It's the Tower of Quantumania. There it is. There's the shuttle launch bay. Good. Go, go, go. Stop exploding. I said, stop it. Okay. Got it. Okay. Now we have this. Okay. 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 These ones are broken. We just gotta flippity flop over. There we go. Okay. Round. Have air. the observatory there's somewhere to enter coordinates isn't it still says there's something here oh yeah right there's stairs up I know that there's got to be somewhere to enter coordinate right Hope so. Okay. Got wins. Got our planet. Brittle Hollow. We've got Giants Deep. We've got Bramble. The Eye of the Universe. There's a table. Unable to determine orbit, no signal detected to match any known criteria for Eye of the Universe. Uh, anywhere to upload? Tell it the coordinates? Universe. Based on our knowledge of Quantum Moon, we believe the Eye is in orbit around the star system Sun. This would mean the Eye is located with a finite, albeit enormous, range. For those, the vessel originally followed the eye's signal to the star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built an Adel Rock, and the new, more sensitive locator we built here, both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Tava, how can you suggest that the eye's signal called out to us to the star system? I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye's story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when we first arrived here. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. Hmm. We found... Okay. 
I'm sure I'm about to change between two search the universe. Probe launcher, okay. Yeah, we got the probe launcher. And we have the coordinates, but we don't know where to put them. To get there? Ow. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here we are. Ow. back and check the shuttle launch thingy. Crossroads. Yeah. Star. Shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. Watch the water. Want the moon? It's about the shuttle's landed. It's a hole. Remainder my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes visitors to the South Pole. It's just that that's true. Always end up at the South Pole. launch the shuttle into the sun. Hey, okay, goodbye. Hope this planet is exploding some more. ship um we try out those uh weird twin planets we are the last planets walk into those make the ship to repair oxygen shake okay 
upper hall. Oh yeah, there's some uh, oxygen tank is leaking. Great. Hello. Come on, let me. Okay, we're fixed up. Autopilot. Ah. Camera. There we go. And gear. Go. Okay. We can't. We can't control the ship. We can't control the ship. It's still on autopilot. That's because it's on autopilot. Okay. Um, it, it flew us into the sun. It, our autopilot flew us into the sun. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to call it here. I think tonight, uh, Ooh, look at all that stuff. Yep. All right. Well, um, I am going to call it here tonight. Um, it was fun. I, uh, we made some progress. Um, yeah, I got, I got plans for the weekend, so uh, I can't stay up late like I usually do. But uh, hey, we, we found the coordinates to the eye of the universe. We just need to figure out where we put those coordinates and what we do with them. So, uh, I mean, that's something. We're making it. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye!